Hey guys, welcome back to Eleven Cups. So with any new machine, it comes the opportunity to purchase new accessories for your machine. So naturally, I was looking for a new dosing funnel for the uh, 58 millimeter portafilter right here. I decided to try out three different options. And in the end, I really like one of them and I'm returning the other two. So before I do that, I just want to share sort of my reasoning behind it. So this way for you guys at home that are also shopping for a dosing funnel for your 58 millimeter portafilter, hopefully this might give you a point of reference. But anyways, before we get started, remember to hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. And of course, remember to give this video a like uh, if you find it to be helpful. All right guys, so like I said, I purchased these three dosing funnels. And before we get started, obviously I think if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for a dosing funnel, but just in case if you somehow are debating whether or not you want one, or you need one. For me, the dosing funnel really helps when you're trying to declump your grind or if you're just grinding directly into your portafilter because it gives you a lot more headroom for you to sort of uh, play with and avoid having the grounds fall all over the place. Now, of course, there are some pretty pricey options out there and the three that we are looking at today are all under 20 bucks. So the first one I wanna talk about is actually the same one that I was using for the Barista um, Express. So this is made from a brand called Metal. How, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, M-A-T-O-W. It's one of the recommended options if you're just looking up dosing funnels on Amazon. And the reason why I didn't just purchase this one and get it over with is because in the review section on Amazon, there are actually quite a few reviews mentioning how this one doesn't really fit onto the Bravo Dual Boiler Porter Filter. So just in case, I bought the other two. So the other two that I purchased, one of them is just called a dosing funnel. And this one actually looked quite interesting to me when I was looking at it on Amazon. It's got this very nice, sleek matte black finish and with sort of a curved funnel shape, which is a little bit different from the one that I've been using. And the other one is actually a magnetized one. This one actually also looks super, super cool. It's got this diamond pattern along the ridge and obviously it's magnetized on the bottom so that it wouldn't fall off the porta filter. However, personally, I don't prefer a dosing funnel with sort of this ridge on the inner side because while it helps lock the portafilter onto the basket, it also leaves this indent after you take it out. So after you do all your WDT, after you do you know all, all your cleaning up, there are still this ridge along the side that you need to smooth over. I know many people argue that that little ridge doesn't make a huge difference in terms of shot quality, but for me personally, I just don't prefer it. And the reason why I got this is because in the review photos, it actually showed a version of this without the ridge. So I am not sure if they changed the way that these are designed or they are just sort of, I guess, like multiple generic makers of this. And one of them just decided to have the ridge and I happened to receive that one. But anyways, that's what I received. So in the end, I actually ended up keeping the exact same one that I've been using before with the Burroughs Express. So again, this is one made by Mattel. And let me just tell you why. So when I first got these, I really, really wanted to like the one with the magnet attachment because I think it just really helps holding the, the dosing funnel in place. However, like I said, it does have this ridge along the inner side. So to me, that's not very ideal. And secondly, the, even though it does have magnet on the inside, it does still fall off if you are just, you know, applying a little bit of weight to it. So I guess the magnet is really just to help it sort of from falling off when you're tilting the portafilter to the side or, you know, if you're just, you know, doing some WDT on the inside. So in the end, the magnet didn't turn out as useful as I would have hoped it to be. And secondly, because of the inner ridge, it does reduce the inner diameter of this dosing funnel. So for you guys that wanted to use, let's say something like the niche dosing funnel, it would no longer fit directly into the portafilter. So that is something to keep in mind if you prefer to, you know, sort of transfer your grinds that way. For me personally, that is not a huge deal breaker because I actually prefer to have it sit on top. So this way I can tap everything into the Put a filter without anything getting stuck in the dosing cup because that's something actually I have noticed uh, with this method. I think with the newer uh, niche zero, it does come with the dosing cup without this little ridge on the inside. But if you have the old one, uh, it does have this little ridge on the inside. So when I dose directly into the put a filter, a lot of grounds end up getting stuck up here. So sometimes having it on a raised dosing funnel and just make sure you tap everything in, it does help transferring all the grinds into the put a filter itself. Now, besides the magnet one, the other two both have a inner diameter that's the same size as a porter filter, which means again, if you're using the dosing cup from something like Niche, it does fit directly into the porter filter without the funnel getting in the way at all. So as you can see, I can just still take it off, put it back on. 
Same thing with the one made by Mattel. Again, it does not get in the way at all because the inner diameter are not affected. So in the end, what really won me over about the Mattel is really the weight and as well as the fitting. By the way, I'm leaving the link for all three of these down below in the description, just in case if you guys want to check it out for yourself. So this black one that I received for the Bravo Dual Buller, it is slightly bigger than the portal filter itself. I don't know if you guys can sort of hear it wiggling. Let me just show you. It does have a little bit of play. Now what this play does is actually when you are trying to decomp your grinds, this will end up sifting around and a lot more grinds get in between the porta filter and the funnel than the other two. Now when it comes to the magnet one, it fits nicely, it fits a little bit tighter. However, because of the inner ridge, it does feel slightly too tight. As you can see, it does have a little bit of, you know, it doesn't really sit exactly flush. You could sort of wiggle around a little bit. I feel like if they did not, you know, again, if they did not have the inner ridge, I think it's going to fit better. But here, let me just show you guys to make sure you guys see this clearly. And lastly, like I said, with the Mattel, it just fits perfectly without any sort of play. And if you look at the inner ridge, it's quite clean. So I'm not sure uh, why some of the reviews mentioned that it does not really fit the dual bowler. In my case, it fits perfectly. And like I said, besides the fit, what I really like about this one is really just the weight. The weight of this one is actually over double of what the other two weighs. So just showing you on the scale here, the Mattel weighs about 135 grams. The black one that I have here weighs just 43 grams. And the magnet one weighs about 58 grams. So the Mattel one weighs more than the other two combined. So for me, that really, really helps when you are having this on the porta filter. So when you're just cleaning up your ground, um, the weight of it really helps it stay in place. The other thing I want to point out is that if you look closely on the porta filters, there's not actually a lot of room uh, for the funnels to sit on. So therefore the weight does help it remain in place. All right guys, so that's it for this quick video. I just wanted to give you guys my sort of two cents on those dosing funnels that I decided to go with. Again, I'll leave the link to all these down below in the description if you guys wanna check it out for yourself. And as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And of course, share this video with anybody who might find it to be helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.